Hi, welcome to another video. I've just installed the latest Arkham Linux on VirtualBox, right? And what is the latest at this point in time? Let's have a look at the time and date and all that. So this is when it is recorded based on this particular ISO. The topic of the video is a request from someone who says, hey Eric, um, Polybar modules are great, but there was a application called Cower, right? And Cower, yay, Cower, is no more. So it does not exist anymore. So we've changed the Polybar. So this is all about Polybars. Now, you may be wondering why are you in XFCE? Well, let's not, let's, let's try to um, add something as well to this video. Polybar can be used on different kind of um, desktops, right? Many desktops we have, there are lots of desktops you can have. And soon you will have DWM here in, uh, in this list as well. We can in here somewhere go down, termite themes, all look good. If we are on i3, we can change themes on i3 and also decide to use another polybar. Aha, so that's why I'm here, right? It doesn't matter which desktop I'm on, as long as polybar is used. And maybe, maybe you're wondering, well, uh, which items out there, which desktops out there actually are using. Um, let's kill some things up over here. So super C, that's gone. Super Q, that's gone. So you need to know the keyboard shortcuts for tiling window managers. But you may be wondering, Polybar is used where? In Arcolex. It's all documented for you guys at arcolexinfo.com, which is wrong. Right, Arcolinux.information. Get me information of Arcolinux. And now with the documents and the cheat sheet. That's where you should go. It's downloaded like, oh, doesn't count it anymore. That's too bad. But I believe it was a countdown there. Anyway, doesn't matter. We can open it with Firefox, yeah, sure. Or with the document viewer default and go ahead. So, Polybar is used at, like so, and you scroll up and you see, maybe you can do control F, let's see if we can, voila. So Polybar is used in Herbsluft, it's used in BSPWM, it's used in SpectreWM, it should be here, and it's also used in, no, it's not used in Okui, no, that's wrong, and Xmonad, it's used there. So these things, um, that's how you quickly see in the cheat sheet what is where. All right, now still not on Polybar, right? This is i3, but Control alt e When you launch the tweet tool, you can decide otherwise. So this is where I should be. Toggle Polybar, apply. Right, super X, log out, log back in, and let the system do its job. So the bar down there is gone, and what we used to on other systems is now here, up here. Now the thing that's changed, well, we need to have to be certain, and I saw a red icon up there somewhere. So are we up to date? Always a good question, are we up to date? We were not up to date. We just put those two packages on the third party repo. The polybar is no longer in test repo. We've put it out there, right? So if we do, if we're gonna check, it should be saying in the config, in the polybar, here it is. And there's a long config, a very long config, but at the bottom, you'll find all the modules. And we've adapted two modules, and that's what this video is all about. But let's uh, always incorporate more in an article, in a video, than it's the title says. 
check Arch update is new and check check AOR updates scripts are new. The only thing you need to remember is Arch updates and AOR updates. I have to be, well, think, right? BSP WM i3, this is i3. The main bar of i3 is defined here. And the main bar of BSP, B, BSP WM is defined somewhere else. Arch updates and AOR updates. Control S, Super Shift R, and then we wait for the scripts to pop up. If Eric, if I did the scale, ah, it's popping up. It takes just a few seconds, I suppose. So take a look what's going to happen here. Going to take a while. I three. Where are you? Okay, I did the scale, so everything is gone again. So mind you, remember what does what is what is scale all about? What is it doing? It over is overwriting my code, right? Reload. Arch is here. Come on, AOR. AOR updates, Arch updates. Okay, there he is. So he's doing a script every thousand seconds or something. Um, anyway, it's down there. And this is what it's about. It's so you have a extra look if you don't use PAMAC. And PAMAC is down here. And you see that i3 bar is now together with polybar. Why? Because we scaled, right? The fun in scaling. You probably noticed that already. And then we delete that log file. So there's only one tweak tool launched always. Toggle peggle polybar again, apply, and then reload. And there we go. So super shift R or log out logging, and it's going to come and there it is. So it's all a little bit tricky and it's all okay if you know what you're doing, right? Um, it's an easy way to switch your bar in i3. But this again, polybar is used in all the other uh, as well. So it's just a bar, right? Doesn't depend on a desktop. This is a tutorial for all polybar LM, uh, all bar desktops or, or even the ones that do not have it, have it currently and you've changed it manually, right? It's all the same thing. It's a module that we've changed. It's a script that we have changed and shows you Arch Linux, zero updates, AOR, zero updates. All right, enough for me. I'm out.